what's up guys and welcome back to the channel so if you're new make sure to subscribe for more tech and money related videos so in this video i'll show you on how you can avoid losing money while trading your cryptocurrencies in an application called paxful so if that sounds interesting let's hop straight into the video so i'll launch my app okay so this is how the dashboard looks like so where you want to click is on marketplace which is at the bottom which is at the bottom left and then you'll be brought to this display so where you click now is on your top right on the filter button to bring the drop down options and there you've got your options so while you're here where you want to click now is more filters and then you're going to have all these various payment methods available in Paxful. So this method I'm going to show you will help prevent you from incurring a financial loss to help prevent you from sending more than required to the vendor. So let's say for instance you've got 100,000 in your bank account and then the vendor says for him to send cryptocurrency you're supposed to send 10,000. Instead of typing 1 with 4 zeros which makes 10,000 to be sent to the vendor you accidentally type 100,000 with five zeros and then you end up losing money because some other vendors are in a constant habit of avoiding refunds so to avoid all that you can set what's called trade limits so trade limits will limit the amount of money that you're supposed to send to the particular person in payment of cryptocurrencies so you're going to have the minimum amount and the maximum amount so let's say you put 50,000 as your minimum and the maximum of 1,000 so once you set these trade limits um you cannot send money let's say you set these trade limits for your bank account transfers so you cannot send the seller of cryptocurrencies who is the vendor money that's beyond 1000 the maximum you can go is 1000 so anything below 1000 and anything above 50000 so you've got an interval of sending money from 50 to 1000 so you can set these trade limits for your various payment methods such as your mtn mobile money your airtel money and your paypal and wechat pay once you are okay with it you simply click on apply filters and if i go back you see that we have set our trade limits for those particular payment methods the five payment methods so if you've learned one or two things in this video i really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for sticking out this far feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section below stay safe i'll check you out in the next video peace